All right. And welcome to the new Super Mario Bros. Wii Any Percent Tournament of Summer 2024. I'm Subspaz, and today we got Big Cheese and Caleb AP of Winner's Racket. Seems like Big Cheese is going to be restarting the stream real quick. Yeah, I'd love to see it. We got the audio going on. We'd love to see that. I thought I heard some of them walking. Guess not yet. Um, the Caleb is having some weird cropping issues, and it seems like Big Cheese just a bit ahead. Um, um gonna have to fix Caleb's Caleb's crop real quick. Oh, they fixed it. No, they did not. What? Why is it showing me something else? 
Um, interesting. I don't know what's going on. But 1-1, one, one, uh, sorry for this, uh, but World 1 is not going to really be inter that interesting. We're just going to be having players running to the right, kind of, for the majority of the levels. We'll be jumping and getting the prop, utilizing slopes to our advantage, and spinning to get up to a ledge. So, pretty good, pretty good. Okay, I don't understand why Caleb's is uh being weird. I'll have to get some help with that. But one two is not a crazy level, though. I'd have to say. Uh, you probably saw them utilizing the rotating platform to get to a specific angle to maximize their speed. The best that they can. And with three, you'll be seeing the players be doing a triple jump above this hammer, bro. And yeah, it's mainly just to avoid the RNG of the hammer, bro. Sorry about that. But yeah, uh, they will be doing a spin here. Uh, seems like Big Cheese was about to. It seems like the streams are resynced now. And yeah, both of them got the nice spin. So honestly, a clean world what so far. Um, I don't know what's up with Caleb's stream, unfortunately. But yes, DC, I do need the uh, recrop if you could do so kindly. Uh, but yeah, Big Cheese, and it seems like Caleb is now quite ahead. And it seems like it is also off sync. Well, it's by about five seconds, it looks like. Nothing too crazy. That's weird. Uh, well, I guess we'll have some weird cropping. But as we get into 5-1, one, one, we're going to be seeing the players go for the star. It seems like Caleb's going to be going for the old one as Big Cheese is going to be going for the new route where you go from bottom to top. Just save it about a couple frames. Yeah. He's like... Also going to be doing some neutral vines, which involves just pressing two immediately as we get on those vines without holding any other direction. As holding direction to seem to cap Mario's speed in without holding any direction and jumping the momentum from the vines in. Big Cheese doing an interesting uh turn back? I don't even know what that was. That was interesting to see though. Look, it's a really high 446. Okay, let's be a bit ahead. With that one as well. Hmm. 
But yeah, gonna go. Oh, Caleb missing the balloon in Piranha. We don't see that too much. But I think she's gonna be getting a high 93. But Caleb's gonna be losing just a bit of time from that Piranha, unfortunately. Yeah. Caleb actually still might be a second ahead with the delay, but talk about a second, just a second of delay, but it's all right for right now. Nothing really too crazy happening. Both players in 5-3 gonna be wanting to avoid these brambles as they'll be doing specific slowdowns just to make sure they can get quickly over without getting hit. But yeah. That's 5 3. For Big G. A little bit of a slower 5 3 from Caleb, but it's all good. Yeah, the crop. Yeah. I did see that from the cropping tool. Sh so. Now, unfortunately, we might just have to deal with this weird. But yeah. I think it is just down on Caleb's side. I feel like we're also experiencing some lag from Big Cheese as he is power pointing through the run. Uh, it seems like, yeah. Thank you for switching over the audio. Or, never mind. I don't know where Big Cheese is. Hmm. But Caleb going to be going into the Iggy fight. Uh, the main optimization here is that he'll be going to the right immediately after hitting since Iggy has the... It's kind of prone to follow Mario's position after getting hit. So going to the right just saves about half a second. And yeah, we're not going to be having any audio so far. So I'm going to try to switch over to Caleb and see if we can get his audio going. And it looks like we got Caleb's Karop. All managed up now. All managed up, so you know you love to see that. Uh, gonna be going into five four now. Probably not gonna be taking the safe save since um. I mean, I I really don't know what could be going through his mind, but yeah, definitely no safe save. Was right about that one. Too cool for the safe save. It seems like Big Cheese is also going to be going into 5 4 now. You love to see it in the much bigger difference of a delay. It seems like Big Cheese is also ahead. Also, hopefully, this works. Oh, wait. That was definitely wrong. If it works at 51 right here, oh. Closer. So it's about a four second more difference. Oh wait. It's completely getting flopped around now. I'm not going to touch anything. I'm going to do my role of commentating. Uh, thank you, staff, for helping out. I did not realize you guys were here. That's my bad. But it seems like Caleb and Cheese finishing out 5-4. Both equal right now. You know, it's getting pretty tense as we go with the Boo House. Going more of the 
halfway of the run as we're about to head into world eight not quite there but we're around there seems like big cheese's stream also froze r.i.p's to the man won't get to see what's happening with him but seems like caleb's nicely going to be doing this five boo house you know there's not really too much to go in like trick wise you know it's kind of just a very basic hold right level and big cheese streams dies unfortunately not something we want to see hopefully we pray that big cheese's wi-fi comes up very quickly But yeah, Caleb gonna be taking it a bit safer. Get, gonna be getting a 566. And Big T's right back to it. Nothing stopping this man. But it seems like now we are with Big T's with a big lead here. Kind of really don't know to be honest. With the god team of speed gaming death, I hope we shall get some good sync page up. Okay, nicely done. Let's go, Speed Gaming staff. Thank y'all. So, all right, now we can finally get on with the race. Everything is now finalized and good to go. So, seems like Big Cheese is just a quite a bit ahead. Not too far ahead, though, with Caleb just right on his tail. And... Yeah, a uh, pretty tight race right here. Nothing really too crazy that we've seen, at least from the streams that we could have seen. So yeah, uh, right here, Big Cheese is going to start to set up for a triple jump as he's damage boosting through the Lava Geysers, getting the nice little triple there to actually jump over. And Caleb as well hitting it. You know, he loves to see it. Some nice five threes with Big Cheese just slowing just down just a bit gonna get a 432 it'll be in a nice little 433 pretty high too as well and gonna be going into 8-2 now you know the more more scary the second scariest level I'd say in any percent at least since you are small Mario and there's things Constantly trying to kill you as well. These meteor RNG is at the top But yeah, as you'll see the main gimmick here is that we got to use these Rolling hills to the best of our advantage to either not lose any momentum or get a little speed Which is not gonna be getting the Goomba boost, which I don't know the frame window for that though, but if you are able to uh, Kind of cancel your slide and also bounce off the Goomba at the same time. You get a little bit of a boost. And I say two so far from both runners. Big Cheese getting that ground pound boost. Not Caleb though, but as well getting the star. As it is utilized for mainly the speed of it. Helps us out. Big Cheese is going to be slowing down just a bit with that bark in. These rolling hills are not going to be doing him too good right now, but getting nice ones clean at the end. Going to be slowing down just a bit, though, while Caleb had a pretty nice third room. Yeah, going to be getting a 422 while Caleb gets a 424. And going to be basically matched up going into 8-7. And don't worry about it, Big Cheese. If your stream does go down, I'm sure you will not be stopping. So it's also going to come back up. So it's all good. Don't worry about it. Keep playing. Keep chilling. 
<laughs> that will be just fine. As we are in the calm before the storm level, we're gonna be riding this coaster out to these sections where you'll have to transfer over. We're gonna try to do that as fast as we can here. We'll be seeing some tricks done by these runners. And great question, this is an official race, as any other race is really, but this is more for a tournament base. And both runners gonna be tempting Muffin Triple. Big T's missing a Muffin Triple, while Caleb nicely gets it. Uh, kind of interesting to see Big Cheese miss that. You know, we all have our days. And Caleb getting a really high 416. Not really high. Just a really high pipe entry. 416, that's what I meant to say. Yeah. Using that ground pound at the end of the first room there. Off of the rolling coaster, moving to the right. And Big Cheese messing around just a bit too much. Taking a death in 8-7. Thankfully, he got the checkpoint. Um... Interesting to see while Caleb is messing up the ball kicks uh, Caleb also messing around but Never mind also getting that second coaster Just I, I, as well as messing around uh, Now it's uh, definitely a lot more of a big difference in lead here uh, with Big Cheese accidentally taking that death from a random spin, he says, "You know that's gonna probably that's gonna give Caleb a big lead here." Gotta agree with Caleb here. The Nintendo Wii is a good console, with providing probably one of the best controllers ever for Wiimote with absolutely good delay, random inputs, and. Dropped inputs, you know, we all love the remote. Oh, yeah. And yeah, Big T's finally gonna be finishing out 8-7, unfortunately, just a bit late, losing his lead as Ooh. Caleb is gonna be going into airship, where also our favorite trick, bombless, is gonna be shown at the end here. If we're able to perform a clean airship. Ooh, yeah. And Caleb nicely going through here, doing a quick turn back on that cannonball. Yeah, Big Cheese is going to be just right behind Caleb. Ooh, unfortunately missing the prop box, though. And going for some stylish on the cannonball there. Ooh. Nice second room so far from Caleb. Nicely getting to that 439. And yeah, nicely getting the crouch jump here. Ooh, also, nice. Nice, yeah, yeah, yeah. And it seems like we're just gonna keep randomly spinning them. Um, Make sure we're nicely getting up. I don't really understand how. Um, interesting enough, gets into there. Looks like he probably was not gonna get that crown bound out in nicely, at least in my eyes, but yeah, nicely getting that ground pound. And gonna be going into the Bowser Jr. fight where we will hopefully see a double coating. No, double bombless coating. Uh, I just butchered. butchered. Uh, and a missing first hit actually. Not gonna be getting late first either. Gonna have to be going for the first bomb hit as Big Cheese does meet up with Caleb. If he's able to get this first hit, he will be saving time on Caleb. Mainly really. Seems like also second it, if Big Cheese is also able to get these two. And it seems like the third hit's not gonna be going well. And Big Cheese nicely getting that third, first hit. Two. And nicely getting double bombless coding. You know, you love to see it. 
You know, as I did say, Caleb's gonna get double bombless coating. I could have also been referring to Big Cheese. If anyone knows that reason, but yeah, Big Cheese actually taking the lead back from that death in 8 7 as well. Big Cheese. Basic. Big Cheese proven that even a death in 8 7 could still bring you back. While Caleb is just not quite far behind. Both players are going to be entering a castle. But yeah, going to be going into a castle here. Nothing really much to expect from this first room. Just a couple of jumps and, you know, kind of making sure we are on the cycle of the fireball, fire bar. First room so far from both runners. Yeah, 656 from Big Cheese as well as Caleb here. Coming down to almost a meal difference, I have to say. Both runners could take the win here. They are very close. The real question is, as Junior is correct, is are they hungry? Are they hungry for the meal, hungry for the win. Seems like Big Cheese is hungry for that window. Getting into that pipe as quickly as can, as well as Caleb. You know, so should be seeing some potential meal. Seems like the runners are both hungry. Nice first pattern from Cheese as well as Caleb. Ooh, Big Cheese almost getting hit. Oh, that was kind of crazy. Getting just a bit close. But yeah, getting into now the final moments of the run. What we have been waiting for, the amazing meal. That we all know and love. If Big Cheese is able to hit the meal as well as Caleb, might be taking a dub here. Depends on escape as well. You know, you do have to run through escape and things can happen as we did see earlier with random spin inputs. So maybe some delayed spin inputs, who knows? Seems like a good setup from Big Cheese. Uh, Caleb doing an interesting route. Uh, Big Cheese getting the gap, but quite not there. Uh, seems like Caleb got the lead though from that. Uh, interesting fire ball strategies from Caleb. It seems like Big Cheese is trying to go for the backup meal. Not quite getting it. Caleb taking more distance here. Uh, having probably the worst fire ball, ball section I've ever seen. And Big Cheese resets. <laughs> Um, here we go. Don't understand what's happening here. Um, seems like not worth finishing out. Just gonna get started with game two now. As Caleb does take game one to a 25 04 GG's. You know, Big Cheese almost did win, though unfortunately missing the gap, the crouch into the gap, unfortunately had to give that to Caleb AP. Let's 
play. So, K Caleb AP taking game one as we move on to the next game. But what a crazy race with Big Cheese almost kind of setting in stone a loss after 8 7, coming back with double bombless coating, but unfortunately missing that gap. And that holy clutch out the win. But definitely good race and GG's to both. Yeah, I saw you got the gap. It was just you could not got the you couldn't get the crap crouch into there. But it seems like we have a little bit of the delay here. Um, not too much though. Sure, it's gonna get nicely synced up. But yeah, one one. Now that I get to talk about it, both players are gonna be going for DSS, which involves throwing the Koopa shell to this question block. Not really needing to use the ground pound as much, except for uh, Caleb having sort of a, also a quick prop grab as a, sort of the backup for DSS. Uh, ground pounding and then getting a wall kick. But yeah, having the same type of one ones, you know, getting a 454. Very common, very common. Yeah. But uh, yeah, definitely a 455 is more of their level, I'd say. So, yeah, just a couple bonks and, you know, kind of have to go for the backup DSS strat. Uh, using that one IGT can show. But, going to be going into 1-2 here. We do see more of the utilization of the slopes as we see both runners getting that optimal angle for them to slide down and accelerate faster. Though one thing to, to note, as sliding with the star actually, just like neutral vines, kind of caps your speed. So it's definitely better just to kind of run down without sliding the slope with the star instead of sliding. If that makes any sense. But nice one two from big cheese caleb just gonna be losing one igt and yeah on to one three which the main big thing here is that hopefully both runners do get that nice little spin Caleb with the words of wisdom in chat, telling Big Cheese to lock in. While Caleb also is needing to lock in as well as both brothers are shaking just a bit. You know, just you, last race was pretty, you know, pretty hectic, you know, pretty much neck and neck. The Caleb Shakers. Yes, sir, baby. Good lucks from the chat to y'all. Very interesting race. Very interesting races so far. One thing to note, forgot to mention, we're going to be spamming the A button and 2 button on these loading text boxes. And pipe cannons and piranha uh, loading screens. And have a good night, DCA. Thank you for cropping and audio syncing everything. Very much appreciated. But yeah, you know, very good world ones from both.
T's getting a 356. Caleb getting a 357, it looked like, or a very high 356. Heading on into five, one, where we will be seeing again the difference in star grabs. Nice water skips from both. Nice, nice. You know, nothing really much to talk about, except for Caleb having a pretty nice 5 1 as well as cheese. Except for missing that pipe kick. But yeah, nice 5 1s. Very high 446 from cheese. 447 again from Caleb. But yeah, as we load into this piranha, we're spamming those A's and 2's to load up the loading screen faster. And Big Cheese missing that third balloon. First try. Gonna be giving the lead, I think, off to Caleb from that? Crazy. So yeah, Caleb taking a lead just from missing that one balloon. Big Cheese taking a hit at the beginning of 5-3. Unfortunate to see, but forgot to mention. Oh, almost dying, but thankfully wall kicks are a thing. Thankfully wall kicking in between the pipe. You know, it's not something you want to see or do ever, but you know, nice to see that you don't die. And thankfully we get the prop back nicely done. Giving that more lead to Caleb, unfortunately on Big Cheese's part. But Caleb definitely going to be strutting through the rest of this 5-3 with a nice 449 pipe. Going to be getting that nice little 444. Very nice 5-3 from Caleb. While Big Cheese now clutches and finishes out. Definitely have to emphasis on the clutch as he was about to die. But yeah, getting back that prop after losing it in the beginning. So, not going to be losing as much time as it could have. So, Big T's definitely probably going to lock in for this 5 tower as well as Caleb. Going to be going for that nice little 5-5-6 five, five, cycle. Which 5-5-6 five, five, is the IGT which you would get after attempting a pretty fast... Um, Next cycle. Uh, the highest you can get is a 559, which involves using these um, Astix skip, but Caleb going to be missing it, unfortunately, with that, but not quite close to losing. Going to be flexing on us with the third star coin. Bitch, he's going for a more safer 556. Five, going to be missing that platform, unfortunately, not going to be able to do 556 five, now. Going to have to be getting also a 546 as well as Caleb. And again, utilizing the way Icky works and moving to the right, as always.
But yeah, finishing out five tower. Now I'm gonna be going into five three. Uh, definitely not gonna be seeing any safe saves. But yeah, I'm going into 5-4 now. Um, I don't really know if we actually saw earlier if anyone actually had a good 5-4. That was around the time when we had some extreme issues. Though, it seems like Caleb is going to be nicely going through this 5-4 at the beginning here. And the main thing here is that we want to avoid using the raft, so we're going to be using the propeller mushroom to the best of our advantage to kind of get through these like platform obstacles with all the enemies and avoiding that poison on the bottom but yeah caleb getting a nice little 359 gonna be getting probably a 353 or a 352 seems like a 353 with how high it was and big cheese having a very nice 5-4, getting, going to be getting a 3-54, it seems like. It's going to be getting a nice little 3-54, very nice 5-4 from Big Cheese. We're going to be going into Boo House here once again. As I did talk about earlier, it is kind of just that level where we hold right... Want to turn back a bit just to go into some doors and to avoid getting hit by the boots. But yeah, nice first one from Caleb. She's with a little bit of a slowdown. Caleb having a nice little second room, too. Big Cheese getting a mid 85, it seemed like, or a little low. Nice five ghost house from Caleb. Seems like he's locking in now. With that 570 doing no real major slowdowns. Big Cheese taking a nice, safer ghost house, gonna be getting a 569. And yeah, Caleb could be going into World 8 as well as Big Cheese. Things are now getting to the last little bits of the run, which also means things are starting to get a little bit more shooken up with the tricks and the nerves. And as we did see earlier, we have a lot of tricks of where determined time loss and time save over one another and potentially a death. Hopefully not though, but making it through A1. Caleb having a nice little shell grab. Nicely doing that lava geyser. It seems like both runners are now locked in. Caleb going for the mushroom right there. Just saving a little bit of time. Big G's having a nicer shell throw though. Nicely avoiding that meteor. As Caleb goes into the triple jump setup. Nicely performing it. Going to be getting pretty high 440. And a very high 433. Big Cheese having another nice 440. Going to be getting a 434 though. A much cleaner 81 from Caleb. Oh, you love to see the 434. Nice job from Big Cheese. Very optimized. Using the slopes from the mushrooms and taking that jump 
to the very last pixel on those rocks. And nicely just doing the level as well. Having a nice shot throw. You know, it was a very nice hit one. Kind of glazing on my part. But going to be locking into this A2. Seems like Caleb is doing some nice optimization with the rolling back hills. Not really slowing down a bit here. Ooh, interesting. Caleb kind of messing up RSG, I think. But yeah, I think she's nice at doing this A2. Going from the top to bottom strat, though. Not going to be getting the ground pound boost as last time. But Caleb having a nice, again, A2. Gonna be getting a nice little 424 425 never mind i'm definitely incorrect about that one for sure but yeah gonna be going into 87 and it seems like big cheese gonna be getting a 424 i lagged it i don't know for my end i was lagging a bit so if I had any mic things, I don't know. But yeah, 8-7, as I talked about earlier, is kind of just that level where we kind of just chill for a bit. Nothing really happens. Except for wanting to utilize the momentum of the coaster to the best of our advantage to get to each one as fast as possible. But yeah, um, I looked away for a second. I don't know if uh, Caleb got muff and triple. I'm hoping he did. Oh, this is kind of a rod. Uh, seems like Big She's got it now. Honestly, though. Yeah, Kale getting another 416, though. Nicely done. Caleb seems to be pretty consistent with that, getting that both twice. Back to back with Big She's taking a safer. Uh, A2 at the end, getting a 414. Caleb gonna be going for the ball kicks. Which saves about, I think, like maybe one frame or a couple. Gonna be uh, flexing the fact that he can get over to this other coaster. And if not, I'm pretty sure you probably would have just been doing some ground pound cancels to get back up. Nice stuff though from both runners. Big Cheese not going to be going for any ball kicks. He is a mushroom day one user. Never going to switch up on the homie. And Caleb going to be taking a hit and getting a 339 from that. Losing a bit of time, unfortunately. Though having the fire flower is a little bit of a safer strat as well. In case we get hit right at the end. Big Cheese going to be getting a nice 340 though. Getting a back some time without having a damage animation as well. But yeah, both players are going to be going into airship now. Kind of back to back. Another thing to note here, both players are playing on a 4x3 aspect ratio, which means that they'll be saving 2 seconds from this Loading screen from 8728 airship as it loads up. Not right here though, but as the trail to 87 and a airship loads up the back just a bit since we're, we can't really see the game. So it loads it up faster. But nice so far beginning airships from both runners. You know, it'd be crazy to see if we see what happened last time. The lead gets. Shifted again due to a double bombless coating. That's probably all it could take here. 
maybe not even that, but maybe just one person not really getting as many hits as the other could probably determine it. Yeah, as Caleb left, Big Cheese enters the second room. Ooh, Caleb. It seems like he almost did not make it up there, but nicely did. 412 from Caleb. Nice airship. I think like Big Cheese is going to be able to match it as well here, it seems. Having a similar airship. Going to be getting a 413. 412. No, my bad. He's like, that's kind of crazy. Caleb going to be missing first hit again. Unfortunate. Can Cheese get first hit here? It's already a hit he just needs over him. And nicely getting that first hit. Going to be getting another... Um, interesting to see from Big Cheese there. Oh! And it seems like Caleb got an instant third. As well as Big Cheese! What am I seeing? A neck and neck here. Another meal. Meal difference here. Wow. You love to see it. Both players absolutely just doing one after another almost right there. Um, did not see chat though, but it seems like Caleb was on some PB pace. Not sure about it now without, with unfortunately missing that first hit. What? Unfortunate Caleb, but into eight castle, everyone probably on the edge of the seats waiting to see how this match ends out because as soon as it seems like as soon as Caleb does one thing Big Cheese is basically right then and there to do it again sending the good lucks to both runners nice 6.56 from Caleb, as well as Big Cheese. Both having similar eight castles though so far. Very nice. It was not a low 56 as well, it was a very high. No, very mid, my bad. Can't count, can't think. Nice pipe entries from both runners. Yeah. Junior is right with Big Cheese actually hitting me last time. Nice fi fire patterns from both runners as well. Forgot to say. Sorry, I did just drop, drop to something from my desk, so I'm trying to pick it back up. But. Junior Gaming is correct. It seems like Caleb is going to have to go definitely for the meal here and secure it. As we did see Big Cheese last time getting the gap, but not quite the crouch. So, sure Big Cheese is locking in now. Both having nice eight castles, but Big Cheese just a little bit behind. Still. All coming down to this 10 second time save. If Big Cheese is able to pull it off, not only will he be getting a lead over Caleb, but we'll see here now game two but if caleb is also able to pull it out he will be taking game two and winning this race this last match all the good lucks are going into the players now seems like a good spin from caleb 
Getting the gap. Missing the crouch though. Caleb throwing the gap. But Big Cheese getting the gap and the crouch. No way from Caleb. But Big Cheese nicely taking the lead. Caleb also losing prop. Not having a good fireball setups right here, unfortunately. But seems like he's going to be meeting up with Big Cheese and escape. But unfortunately, Big Cheese is about to take a clutch W with that meal. Getting a nice 25-34. 24-35, my bad. Gonna be taking it to a game three now. GG's, Big Cheese, and Caleb, Gonna be going on with a game three now. Man, I'm hungry. And I gotta wait it out. I'll be right back. I'm going to go get some water. I am mad thirsty and very sorry. All right, I'm back. Sorry for the wait. Time. 
Here we go! But yeah, it seems like we're also off with the race now. Gonna be going into 1 1 again. And yet again, not gonna really see anything much different or crazy. We're gonna be getting that prop. We're gonna be doing some cool stuff, you know, utilizing the slopes, the rotating platforms, and doing some spins. Nothing really too crazy yet, but except for. Seems like uh, a Caleb opted out to go for the normal backup here, but Big T is going to be losing some time here as he did did miss DSS. So, seems like Caleb took the correct decision to go for the normal power up grab, while Big T is going to be unfortunately losing some time in the beginning here. Seems like a second difference here, so I'm gonna have to change it up just a bit here. <laughs> Caleb losing prop. Oh, this is definitely interesting now. Since I hope he does know the backup of the Ice Flower if he is hearing me. I probably won't be able to know in time though. But if you do grab the Ice Flower here and he definitely does know about it. Going into 1-3, getting all the Yoshi Fruits, he is able to actually get a backup prop. So, Pixie's definitely going to be taking a lead here now as well as in 1-3. Yeah, Big Chief's gonna be taking the lead here now. But yeah. So, two different things are not gonna be going on here. While they'll both be doing some triple jumps over the hammer bro here. Caleb is now going to have to fastly get all of these five fruits in order for Yoshi to give him that little fun prop that he desperately needs. Not only will it save time in 5-3, it also will save time just a little bit in 5-1 as well. Yeah, Pixie's having a nice 1-3 here. Caleb just... Gonna have to be catching up just a bit. Yeah, Caleb unfortunately slowing down just a bit. While Big Cheese is having a very nice run so far with the 308. 1 3 exit. Okay, but just, Caleb is just only gonna be around. Mm. Like nine seconds, it seems. No, not even. I don't know. He's around nine to ten seconds behind, it seems. But yeah, spamming those A's and twos as we get these text boxes and loading screens up. Oh, yeah, unfortunately, they're not saving the toad either, so... Yeah, but... It's kinda, I'm not really a fan of toads, so, you know, I'm kinda happy about it, actually. 
Yeah, Caleb actually gonna <laughs> not that far behind. This only about ten seconds. But yeah, five one again. We're gonna be seeing the optimization of the star grab, neutral vines, water skip, and a pipe kick. So nothing really too crazy. so far from both. My dog is getting really annoying now as he's coming up all up on me and just jumping. Lots some attention. But Big T's with a really nice 5-2. I'm going to be getting a 452. Nice to getting pipe kick this time. So hopefully a nice... Never mind, not that 448. But getting a nice high 447. Seems like Caleb is also going to be getting another 447. Pixies again missing that third balloon. But Ness is going to be getting a 91 from that. So just losing a little bit of time. Yeah, yeah going into 5 3 now. Taking a safer turn back here as he did get hit in the beginning. Last match. Yeah, Caleb nicely getting donut jump here. Not too far behind as he would be if he did not get the backup prop in five. Uh, as if he did get it back here in five three, definitely getting a nice, that nice little time save from doing it one three. It's a five tower now. Can my dog stop being annoying? Sorry. Ooh. Rough starts so far from Big Cheese. Caleb nicely just coming through the going through right now. Big Cheese, nice oh, pushing. I get in that actually, sorry. Looks stepped away for a bit. And it seems like Caleb is going to be getting that time save. So going to be getting 557. Five, Bringing it back just a little. Not too far ahead though, but ahead does mean he is ahead. So. Big Cheese is definitely going to want to play a little bit. Definitely as well as he did in the last 5-4. Catch up because it seems that... Uh, he can definitely pull out some fast 5-4s.
All right. What? Yeah. Exiting 5-4 now. Oh. Wow, entering. My English is pretty bad today. Sorry about that. Entering 5-4 now. We did not see the safe save either, so, you know. It's not been a big issue so far, though. But, you know, if it does case happen in the event one of them does mess up they will be having to ride the raft and no one loves to ride the raft it seems like big cheese is right on caleb's tail having the same oh just a bit faster than caleb gonna be getting a 353 here it seems yeah just one igt quicker than him now it is definitely, when you see it on Caleb's, it is happening on Big Cheese's as well. It is right that moment you switch over. It is basically neck and neck. Adam difference of time here. So little. that A bonk in five ghost house, as we have seen, could definitely change things up. Either put them even or just, you know, give that a little bit... Of a lead to the other. But if Big Cheese keeps making small bonks like that, you know, he will definitely increase the time difference drastically. But it seems like it's not that much big of an issue here. But yeah. Nice so far from both runners right here now at the end. Nice 570s from both. And again, they're like they're like tied. Uh they're basically on the same thing is basically happening for each and another. If they were both properly synced. You know, maybe it would be basically identical, but it's like identical now until we'll see an 8-1 where we'll see the difference in optimization as we did see Big Cheese pull off before. Hopefully he's able to do that again because that was pretty cool. I say one so far with basically still kind of the same thing it seems like big cheese just did just slow down just a bit though but nicely done yeah both players slowing down just a bit Both getting 432s though. A2 again. Just one of these levels where by correctly doing everything you know, you get the fastest things. But things can slow you down. Can't mess up. It is not that easy of a level. So 
It'll be interesting to see what happens here. Since they both... Oh, Big Cheese getting that Goomba boost. Getting this slightly... Oh, Big Cheese taking a death, though. Too fast. Unfortunately, resulting in a death in A2. Bringing that difference now more of a difference. And Kale getting a very nice uh, ground pound boost there. Gonna be getting a high 444. But yeah, unfortunately Big C's gonna have to be redoing the first part of A2. Getting Goomba boost again. Ooh. This time, I'm not going to be falling down and get, taking a hit. Also going to be getting a 444, though. So, you know, clean a two this time around. Gonna be getting a 426. Meeting up Caleb in 87 now. Also getting muffin triple, you'd love to see it. She's also getting left for triple. We'll have to see it. Getting that mushroom. My favorite mushroom user of 8-7. Gotta be Big Cheese. And it seems like uh, Caleb gonna be missing the first part of ball kicks. And Big Cheese getting a Nice 415. And Caleb, as I talked about earlier, is going to be using a ground pound cancel to make sure he stays on that coaster. And I think she's pausing. Um, unfortunately, dying. That is. I did not understand what was happening there, but. I do understand now. Unfortunately, I think she's taking a death in 8 7. Going to be bringing that. Time difference now, yeah. even greater than before, as, as Caleb does enter in an airship. So far, clean airship from Caleb. No turn back though on that triple jump. Love to see it. Big G's finishing out 8 7 now. Gonna be meeting up with Caleb. If Big Cheese did not get that death in 8-2, that probably would have been exactly like first game. Where Big Cheese took that death in 8-7 and brought it back though with Bombless. But unfortunately, 
I think that Death Zone 8 2 definitely brought that little bombless difference. Just not really possible right now. So. I think all Big Cheese can really do is prey on his downfall. And missing this box again. Unfortunately. But Caleb now going to be going to Bowser Jr. Hopefully he is able to lock in this first hit. Has been seeming to struggle just a bit though. With the... Caleb going to be getting the first hit. You're going to be getting double bombless. Coding double bombless. And this time closing that gap though with the difference. And seems like big cheese. Um, you know, thankfully he did not die. Though he was about to, so that's awesome to see. And you know, I can definitely understand Big Cheese. And all I can really say is that it'll definitely make you a stronger person by finishing out this, even though you have every probably inch of you not wanting to. What? But Caleb's gonna be going into Eight Castle. Big T's gonna go into bombless. Hopefully he's able to pull out a nice little double bombless coding. Coding double bombless. I keep messing that up. Instantly getting that first hit. You love to see it. Nice instant second. Also getting that double coding. But I can't say that correctly for the life of me. But getting that nice little coding double bombless. Love to see it. Both players getting it. Closing. The difference of bombless all needs that needs to happen now is if a potential mistake from Caleb and you know the lead will go into Big Cheese's hands. But with the consistency from Caleb so far, at least it seems like he's pretty much chilling. No real big mistakes here, except for missing meal and. After that, not having the best fire ball pattern. But anything can happen and will happen in the race, so. Big Cheese entering in an eight castle. Love to see it. Caleb gonna be going for not much of a risky pipe entry. Never mind, that was kinda kinda risky. Not first frame, but you know, it is still close to the lava. Only got to see a little creep of the pipe. Big Cheese having a nice first one though. Unfortunately not getting that jump optimization to go quickly under and taking a death unfortunately in a castle. Oh Big Cheese. So close. Seems like Big Cheese is not gonna finish. I'm going to be waiting on the screen for a bit. Going to be locking in now. Unfortunately, it might, I do have to say, it might be set in stone. But it could, things could happen and could shift it definitely in Big Cheese's lead. But... Definitely dying in eight castles is just not something you want. It's not a good feeling. And Big Cheese taking a little bit too risky of a fireball hit right there. Gonna be going to low percent mode though. And Caleb getting the meal this time! Nicely done by Caleb. We ate. Got a nice little scrumptious meal in our tummies now from Caleb. Indeed, Tark, we did get fed. 
And gonna be getting a 24-19. GG's Caleb. Gonna be taking game three. Big Cheese basically getting a first frame pipe. As he heads into corridor now. Nice first pattern. Nice little, little second. No Volsa Vault though, so it seems like Big Cheese is going to start flexing with the low percent strats. And it seems like Big Cheese is not going to be finishing out, though. GG's, though. Caleb, though, coming into the commentary booth. Hello, gang. What is up, brother? GG's on the win. Bad. GG's on the match. Almost two seconds off my PB, so... That's, yeah, definitely that one, too. Pretty crazy. Two, two seconds off my PB while losing 10 seconds in World 1, so... Cool. You know, it shows the potential, though, for sure. Yeah. Got a 427.82, which was pretty sad. That was high. I thought I saw a 426. Might be wrong. I think she's got a 426. I barely got a 427 that's right. in this that's game. I'm mixing up the Calypse. That's my bad. That's right. Yeah, it's kind of hard to, for me to tell the difference, even, to be honest. <laughs> I mean, I was banking on oh, yeah. winning, but this is fine too. Yeah. Um, what were your thoughts though on your, on the all three games? Dude, I I played really well. I mean, I, I would missed say... Omless, but hello, big cheese. So I probably will not play that well again. Like, Damn. other than Bombless and Meal, like. That was pretty crazy for me. Yeah, definitely, definitely some good playing from you, for sure. As well as Big Cheese, what were your th thoughts? Uh, basically all of my mistakes were dro either random spins or drop jumps. So having a good time. That that was very unfortunate to see for sure, because it did not seem very like you know like a normal mistake that someone would make. Definitely seemed out of the blue. So, that was unfortunate. But, you guys did display a very good match. It was very interesting to see Big Cheese take it at the very end. And lose it at the very end. Unfortunate. Mm. That was yeah. A little nerve-wracking. Yeah. Does it get you guys excited for the future matches? Or... No. 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 I am most likely playing CAD next, so Good probably luck just. Luck but with that. You know what? That's okay with me. Most likely, my next match is NM or Azord. Ooh, that'll be interesting to see. Yeah, that you got like it. Cool stuff. Yeah, Bixie's definitely probably has both those, Caleb. I wish you best. I don't know about. I don't know about Chad, man. This guy's good. <laughs> I mean, if I get a twenty-four nineteen every race, like maybe, but like <laughs> you'll have a chance. Maybe, yeah. You'll have. If I just PB every time, then I might win. So yeah, get not, 20, will not guarantee. Time. Yeah, it's not a guarantee. Not <laughs> a guarantee, yeah. But I didn't expect to get this far, so I was worried Volzo was gonna knock me out round one. So making it all the way to winners semis is pretty cool. We love to see that, you know. But yeah, yeah, that is going to be all from me. Is that all from you guys? Yeah, I'm chilling. I just work I'll, here. You just I'll, work here. Dang you I'll do what I can in the loser's bracket. Same here, Big Cheese. Just have that mindset. 
definitely SM64 League is a lot fun. But other than that, we do <laughs> have talking about SM64. We do have some matches lined up for us tomorrow. We got three Buckaroos. We got SBU Diver against Timo at 11 a.m. EDT. Sibby versus NM and Billy Joe versus Tark. Definitely should check those out. The last two will be later in the day, especially the 11 p.m. one. That'll be fun to stay up for. Then Friday, again, we have CADS versus Mongo. So, thank you for guys watching the Any% Percent Tournament match against Big Cheese and Caleb. For sure to check them out and have a good one.